Hi, my name is Miguel and I'm a solution architect at JHG Pacific. Today we'll be having a brief talk about cloud security. For most public cloud these days, uh, they're running on something called a shared responsibility model. Um, this includes the security part of things. And in this shared responsibility model, the cloud service provider is responsible for the security of the cloud, whereas the customer is responsible for security in the cloud. So um, let me elaborate. What this means is that when a cloud service provider um, provides you with cloud services, they are typically responsible for the hardware, the infrastructure, um, the software, the networking, all the back-end stuff that you don't see. Um, they are typically um, responsible for that. That includes the physical security of their data centers and such. Where else, as a customer, um, you have uh, security. You have responsibility of the security in the cloud, and this means that um, you'll be responsible for the stuff that you use. Say you are using an abstracted services such as a managed database, for example, um, you will be responsible for any configuration changes that you may have made for that database, as well as the data that you are storing on the database. Whereas on the cloud service provider side of things, they are responsible for the operating system, the inf infrastructure, everything else that you have um, no control over, um, basically is their responsibility. So this is where the shared responsibility model comes in, where both sides share the responsibility for a secure um, operating environment. So why do you need cloud security and um, why is cloud security important? So for most organizations, they would store some sort of um, important information or sensitive information onto their cloud platform and um, this makes sense because when you have important or sensitive data on your cloud platform you want to safeguard the data against um, unauthorized access, uh, leaks or breaches so a strong security would help you protect your business or your organization from financial losses or reputational damage. Another way cloud security can help you is in terms of compliance. Many regulations these days require organizations to provide some sort of um, security control to prevent their customer data from being leaked to the public. And um, these security controls will help um, make sure that your organization is compliant with these regulations and this will avoid hefty fines and penalties. Last but not least, cloud security might help you with disaster recovery. So you never know when some sort of natural disaster or power outage might hit your cloud service provider's data centers. And in this case, um, there's no such thing as enough precaution because some of the data that you store on your cloud may be um, highly sensitive and very important for your um, organization's day-to-day -day operations. So uh, stuff like um, a disaster recovery plan or a backup might help you um, recover from this sort of events and it also minimizes your downtime and ensures that your business has continu continuity. Typically on the cloud, we will have some sort of strategic security plan that breaks down the security processes into five different steps which is identify, prevent, detect, respond and remediate. In identify, you would take advantage of all the data and visibility you have on your cloud platform and use that to basically understand the risks that pose a threat to your cloud environment. In prevent, you would use that previously identified risks and set up some sort of preventive measure from to prevent those um, risks from taking place or happening. In detect, you would typically take advantage of your um, logging and monitoring tools available in your cloud service platform and you would use that to basically automate a detection service which um, detects if one of the risks that you previously identified has uh, taken place or happened. In Respond, you would set up an automated incident response process and this will allow you to take action uh, more quickly and based on what has been detected in the detect stage. In the remediate stage, what will happen is we will use all the information gathered from the previous four stages and we will use that information to further secure your environment to ensure that the security risk that has happened will, ne will not happen again. How do you improve your cloud security? Here are some simple steps you can take to further improve your security on your cloud environment. So first of all, you can secure your cloud environment with a strong password policy and multi-factor authentication or MFA for short. So this will help you um, control the password policies of users that you have created to access your cloud environment and this will ensure that um, 
even if the, the password was leaked or breached, the MFA will secure your account from being um, accessed by an un unauthorized person. So the next thing you can do is to encrypt any data at rest and data in transit. So what this means is any data that is being transmitted or stored on the cloud should be encrypted. This will prevent a lot of um, risks such as man the middle attacks and data leaks. You should also have a robust data backup and data recovery plan. Um, this will help you recover in case of a natural disaster or power outage. Or even if your data has um, been affected by ransomware, you can always recover the data without um, worrying that your data is um, corrupted or gone. You should also implement some sort of uh, monitoring and logging solution. And fortunately, these days, most cloud platforms already have that out of the box. However, it's always wise to check if um, your monitoring and logging uh, services has been turned on. You would also want to implement some sort of security measures such as firewalls. Um, this will help you protect um, traffic going in and out of your um, servers as well as um, prevent potential DDoS attacks. Also, you should apply regular updates to your systems applications as uh, this will help you um, prevent any known exploits that may allow a hacker or a malicious actor to access your environment. One more not so easy but completely necessary step to improve your cloud security is to provide training to your employees on cloud security best practices. This is um, extremely important because in most cases, data breaches and ransomware attacks are due to the complacency of um, the employees themselves. Say you have the best, uh, best in class cloud security protecting your environment, but an employee just plugs in a, a USB drive with some sort of malware that they are unaware of into their computer and it affects your entire system. So this is where um, employee training is necessary to prevent um, these sorts of scenarios from happening. The last thing to do is to perform penetration testing or some sort of security test. So after you have applied all these security measures and provide training to your employees, what you can do next is to perform a penetration test or a security test to ensure that all the security measures you have set in place um, actually works and it actually helps to mitigate risks and threats from affecting your cloud environment. So that's all we'll be covering for today. Um, thank you very much for listening and please like and subscribe.